Year 3 teacher and founder of numeracy shack, Graham Andre, says his number one tip for your pupils is to take them outside. The fresh air is so good for them and there's tons that you can do. Examples include taking chalk out and using it to write questions and answers on the playground, timing how many times pupils can run around the playground and making mass word problems out of that, or working on measuring and estimating by measuring the size of the playing field. Primary school teacher Cherise Duxbury advises using online resources like Maths, Vitamins and Seesaw to record people's answers and explanations to their SATS questions. And here's a tip from primary teacher and Year 6 computing manager Mr B Teach. He loves to deconstruct SATS questions with his class. They break them down and then he teaches the skills and strategies needed to complete each one successfully. In the weeks leading up to SATS, why not give each pupil a pet project that they can be getting on with? or even start a whole class project. Design and art activities are a really good idea because they're something that can be put down and picked up again in the gaps between sets. Year 6 teacher and SPAD leader Miss B says she fills out SATS papers with common errors that her pupils usually make. She then makes the pupils work through the paper in pairs, seeing who can spot the errors first. It's a fun way to gamify things and it also creates a great discussion with people saying things like, Miss, you forgot the full stop again. Don't forget to let your pupils blow off some steam. Give them some downtime before and after sats, maybe even outside. Let them work off some energy and let them be loud. Reward them for their fantastic hard work and effort they've put in through all those weeks in the run up to sats. Head of Year 2, John Brunskill, says one of the things he likes to do to build fluency in arithmetic is play the classic hit the button game. It's a really good way to practice quick recall of number facts. A great way to put a positive spin on the SATS period is, if you don't already run one, to start a breakfast club. Giving your pupils a decent breakfast is a great way to start the day, helps ensure that they're relaxed and makes sure they're ready to learn. So put some music on, laugh and make some food and you can set the tone for the entire day. Let's face it, in the final two weeks before SATS, assemblies aren't really going to add that much more to your pupils' learning. They're just another thing for them to concentrate on and they do eat precious time out the timetable. So just for now, suspend them, and then you can make a really big deal out of having a welcome back and congratulations for all your hard work assembly. Head teacher Chris Dyson says he likes to give out fun and light-hearted homework tasks to his pupils to make the SATS period as enjoyable as it can be. Often his homework is light-hearted as build a den or sing a song. If you want to download free resources or find out more about our one-to-one -one interventions, just visit thirdspacelearning.com.